Hello friends, my name is Akshay. You are watching CC Techs. Let's start. If you want any data information or help, you can join the Google Classroom with the code join. So today we are going to learn about how to use a while loop in Python. So for that, we will take an example. So we will write a code that will print the numbers, series of number from one to the number given by the user. So for that we have to make a function and for defining that function of course we have to use a def keyword keyword that is define here we have defined that numbers and it will take a single input that is a and we define the initial i as a 1 so we will take while loop here for a condition i is less than or equal to a and a is the number given by the user as i have told you so a semicolon sorry this is colon and print i so we will print i so what is i now i is 1 and what we have to print we have to print a series of numbers so now what we require we require a number from a user and to print the series we have to make logic how to print the series so one by one this loop will as this loop will execute the value of i will increase by one Now this loop is successfully created. Uh, now we, what we have to do? We have to take a number from a user. So we have to take a integer num integer integer type. So we write here int keyword. So this indicates integer. Only integers will accept it. Okay. Then input as you know. On screen, and what you have to print? You have to print the number a. Then output of that function. So let's write. So what do you think after executing this code? What will be like? So let's save it with while. Sorry, this is number, not number. This is number. So now enter the number 50. And here is the series of 1 to 15 in front of us. But think why that none is there? Why that none is there? Can you observe that we haven't written a return here? We haven't used return here. So if we type 100, then it will print a series of 1 to 100. And I will tell you why that return is not used here in the next program. So please watch my next video. Let's have another simple example of while. Uh, to write factorial I hope you know about factorials factorials of given number ok very simple program first we define the function name new factorial that is fact and it will take input x. x result is equal to 1 why that result is equal to 1 I'll tell you later this is important here result is equal to 1 now we'll apply while while the condition will differ here 
previous example condition was x is less than or equal to 1 uh, that there was uh, i another another side there was a and here is x is greater than or equal to 1 so result is equal to now the value of result will change if this is true then value of result will value of result will change to result into x so whatever the x and x is the input there x is the input so result is equal to result into x and x is equal to x minus 1 so for calculating factorial We have to decrease the number by one. That's why x is equal to x minus one. This is our loop, and we have to return result. So now input input will be integer. So we define it here at the initial uh, initial position that only integer. integer input enter the number to calculate factorial calculate factorial now enter the number to calculate factorial i will define a y in that y i will take that function fact fact print our result for that print print the word and print in parentheses we'll write factorial factorial is concatenating string str keyword str x to convert here the value of x into string just to print if if some space if again concatenating string with str y and what is in the y Y is our result. That is factorial of x. So say it factorial real. Now enter the number to calculate the factorial. Five. Factorial five is one twenty. So this is an arrange now. Let's arrange it. Factorial five. Factorial of y u is string y. That means factorial. Factorial of y u is okay. Hello